Now an update for small businesses, including those in the ag industry. Dr. Courtney Burr, Extension Ag Economist, has the changes coming to the Paycheck Protection Program. We are in that second round of PPP money. Um, as of today, there are still money left on the table. Um, so that's the first thing to talk about. The second thing is that there has been some changes that have passed through the House um, that are about to go through the Senate. And those changes are actually in the favor of small businesses. Um, so one of those changes is that the uh, payroll component of the loan has been decreased from 75% to 60%. So you don't have to have as much money go towards payroll. Additionally, um, the length of time you have for forgiveness has changed from eight weeks to 24 weeks. So that's a really great thing. The other piece that you need to talk to your lender about is that the length of maturity from this loan has increased from two years to five years in some cases. Uh, so finally, wrapping all of this together and thinking of all of the pieces, your lender has 60 days to evaluate your forgiveness. SBA has 90 days, which means with all of these changes, uh, there can be up to 11 months where you don't have to pay back your PPP loan. It is el eligible for the agricultural community. Uh, the decrease in that payroll percentage should be really helpful to farmers and ranchers. There is no guarantee that this loan will be forgiven. So it is important that if you don't need the money, if you're doing fine, that maybe this isn't the right option for you. So talk to your lender, see if it makes sense in your case, and if you're okay with it just being a loan and maybe not being forgiven, then this is a great opportunity to get a low interest loan. So in turbulent times like this, there's a lot of issues with fraud, um, and some of that is hitting the banking industry. So one thing you should watch out for is if suddenly you get um, an ACH in your account, the name is not your name, it could be $5,000, it could be a lot more money than that. If you're not expecting that money, don't take it. So if you get an increase of money in your account, it's not your name, it says Washington or something like that on it, um, talk to your bank, don't accept that money. Um, the second thing that's happening, unfortunately, has to do with unemployment. So if you are employed and you get an unemployment packet in the mail with an unemployment card and all of that, you need to not take that. Uh, you need to talk to OECS and figure out what's going on and get that stopped. Basically, make sure that your name is on it. If it's not your name and some kind of deposit, um, if something doesn't make sense, if you're currently employed and you get an unemployment card, uh, make sure to talk to your bank about that. Make sure to talk to your HR department about that if it's the unemployment piece and, and get that taken care of before it becomes a problem for you.